Hey Aries, welcome to your new moon in Taurus reading for May 19th, 2023. Uh, for the next two weeks you have the theme of the death card, uh, which are big changes, um, purification, um, the end of one situation, the beginning of something new. Uh, this card says it has a no answer to it. <clears throat> um, be probably because things are, are transforming and so they're in a bit of a state of flux at the moment. But let's see how that um, let's see how that works with your new moon reading. Okay, so new moons bring in new cycles. And we're going to have a look to see what new cycle is starting for you. So obviously um, there is something ending for this new cycle to begin. With the death card, you have the four of swords. All right, that is inactivity. That is inactivity physically, but the mind is still whirling. The mind is still going. There's plans to be made. We're just not acting on them yet. But at the right time, we'll pick up that uh, sword that we're pondering and laying on and begin action. And in the meantime, there's something that we need to plan and ponder with the Four of Swords. Four is always about foundation, uh, so it could have something to do with a foundation, a mental foundation that needs to be set before, um, before we get active, which is interesting because the Swords are activity anyway. It could be thought, but that's what I mean by the mind is active, uh, but we're not taking action on it just yet, on this new beginning. Um, because I think there's still some decisions that need to be made with the Seven of Cups. These are the seven planets that offer, uh, each offers something new for you, something different. Um, for example, maybe Venus offers beauty, right? Uh, this is probably Jupiter. This can be Neptune because it's ambiguous, we don't quite know. Um, Mars might be be the, uh, the dragon, this fiery energy. So there's a lot of things that are kind of um, maybe we find a little bit confusing, um, but I think for me it feels like what's going to fit into our plan the best, because we're already into the four energy, meaning that We've, we've figured out the vision, we've figured out a structure, we may even know some details about what it is that we want to put into action. Um, but the four is solidifying something. So we are missing something that brings things into solidity here. Um, and that can be a little bit confusing for us at the moment. We might have a lot of choice. Um, or maybe it's just uh, a few choices, but still uh, haven't quite figured out what it is that's going to, uh, that we're going to put into action just yet. But we might get some more information on that. Um, but you can see you're at the earlier stages here of a, of a situation, of plans being made. Okay, so you're behaving as a Queen of Pentacles. This is my Aquarius card. So this is practical steps, very practical steps in getting to where it is you need to go. Um, it, this could even be just making sure that you're fit enough because she's very health uh, oriented individual and this is the need to take some physical rest. Um, it's very often that the Four of Swords is that if you don't do it voluntarily the universe will help you out a little bit Maybe you'll catch a cold or your um, allergies will act up around this time and, um, and kind of take you out for a couple days or a day or an afternoon or a week even. Um, so she takes very practical steps. Uh, she's a very health-oriented individual, but also uh, finances are a big thing for her. These are nurses. Uh, they are practitioners of different uh, modalities, dietitians, that kind of energy. Um, because it's Aquarius, they might be people who like to talk about it, 
who do blogs or who do uh, videos about it, who may write about it, um, because it's air, right? Aquarius is an air sign. But there are very practical steps taken with the Queen of Pentacles. And that's what you're behaving as. Okay, you have what follows the Four of Swords, which is um, a bit of drama that's being played out here. The Five of Swords is the card of um, conquest and defeat. You may get what you want, but it might not be the way you want it uh, with the Five of Swords. And even if it is a win, uh, it's very possible that it's not a complete win because uh, maybe you know the people that you are conquering and um, yeah, it doesn't feel very good. And that's what I mean by you may get what you want, but it may not be the way you want it. And I say that because the Queen of Pentacles is absolutely somebody who gets what she wants. She takes practical steps to get there, but she gets there. However, that Five of Swords can be a little bit tricky in the fact that um, words can have an impact and can, um, yeah, can be quite hurtful. So you could see the impact of the words that you use. I always caution uh, that uh, if you don't want to step into drama or create any drama in this case, um, mind your ego. Check your ego, balance your ego, right? We'll get more on that in a minute. The outcome is one of strength, which I find interesting because, again, this is the card of needing some rest. And so taking that rest which may be difficult for you with the Five of Swords because things are sort of left on the wayside. The Queen of Pentacles is very practical, but she's also somebody who's quite responsible and um, feels like she you know, needs to get her work done in a timely fashion. And because maybe you're taken out a little bit at the beginning of the um, moon, uh, you might um, be delayed and that would bother a queen of pentacles. She would get a little bit nervous about that. So that could just be the five of swords as well, right? Your own kind of internal drama of, uh, I'm late, I've got to get this done. Uh, things aren't done in a timely fashion. Um, you may have so many things that you need to do, but not the energy to do it. Um, and that can cause some, um, I'm going to say in this case, some mental uh, upheaval. That five of swords, five is always instability, the roller coaster ride. So it does push us to find balance. So the strength card really means that there can be a healing at this time, um, finding inner courage and determination because it's associated with Leo. So that always has to do with a lot of courage, but also healing, internal healing. And again, we're looking at how we can um, balance the ego and the Leo card is about is exactly about that about balancing the ego so this could be uh, a situation that kind of propels you into the um, the necessity to balance your ego uh, to play fair and to mind your expressions mind your words that you use <clears throat> okay, you have the Magician card with that. Really nice, actually. A nice ending. It does mean that um, this is your vision, the Magician. It's mastery over a situation. And this is absolutely looks like, to me, like we are mastering our, um, our internal energy. Um, finding the courage... Um, and but also like in difficult situations in those five of swords moments of, of uh, stepping back a minute really thinking about what it is that you want to say and the impact that will have um, 
really steers a situation in a particular direction. Um, and the magician is skillful at that. He is the master. Whatever he's doing, uh, he compares uh, that to the overall vision that he had, the concept of what it is. And that might be something that you're trying to figure out here with the Four of Swords is, uh, again, it because it's that foundation and the mind is planning and, um, and figuring out how to create strong mental foundations for the magician, uh, for the vision that the magician has, for the concept that he's, um, he's decreeing, right? Because the magician is uh, associated with the planet Mercury, and again, uh, that is word, right? How I speak about things. Um, communication. How do I communicate it? Okay, so that ties in very well with the Five of Swords and even the Queen of Pentacles because, like I said, that's Aquarius and that is also has a lot to do with information. Okay. Now, this can be something that has returned from the past. It's also the idea that we don't want to make the same mistakes twice, right? So kind of looking towards the past or remembering things that had happened from the past and foregoing or trying to move around uh, things that we know didn't work out the first time. So could be trying to figure out new ways of, of moving forward or dealing with this particular situation which is finding out, which is the death card, right? The ending of something and the beginning of something else. But it's a purification. It's transformational energy. And so there's this feeling of transforming a situation. For everyone, it's different because it's a general reading. But there is this feeling of transforming a situation out of the old and into something new, which it looks to me like you do because you have very renewing cards here with the magician and... Um, the strength card. This may have something to do with children, with friendships, because the Six of Cups for me is always platonic relationships. Very friendly, very caring, very sweet. Which would make, I think, a conquest, defeat energy quite different with that, or difficult rather, with that four or Five of Swords. Um, because there is this camaraderie, there's this friendliness, there's this caring and sharing kind of card with the Six of Cups, but it's also, again, like I said, not wanting to repeat the same, um, the same mistakes we did in the past. Mercury in retrograde is now over, so uh, this is definitely my Mercury in retrograde card, and we may even be just going over it in our mind, um, what just happened the last uh, three to four week period, and um, the impact that it had on us and our situation, and how we can move forward with it with more stability, but also with more of a caring heart, with more of this sharing attitude. But Six of Cups is definitely the past coming forward again. Only this time you seem to find it difficult to figure out what to choose or which way to go. There's some confusion here. What I think is that you don't trust the situation or the people. It's very possible. Maybe they did something wrong um, in the past and um, you're not willing to extend yourself or you're a little bit fearful of that. The Seven of Swords is your strategic moves, the things that are going on behind the scenes that other people don't see happening. Uh, it can be trickery and betrayal and with that Five of Swords, I want to kind of go in that direction. Um, but this is how you're behaving. So there can be trickery and there can be betrayal where this is concerned. And this may be concerning friendships or families or things that have happened in the past. Um, <clears throat> but the very strategic moves that you're trying to uh, figure out here with the Four of Swords um, it can also be... Uh, how do I avoid uh, this no-win situation? 
or um, even humiliation. Five of Swords is a humiliation card. So I do seem to want to pull one more with this because they're both really heavy cards. Um, it's in regards to cooperative efforts. Hmm. And the thing with the Magician card, when it is negatively aspected, and I'm not saying it is just yet, but beside that Five of Swords, that can be somebody who is very manipulative and manipulates situations and people to their, um, to their point of view. So either you have a keen eye that this might be happening in your situation or you're doing it. And like I said, the placement of this card is you and how you're behaving in the whole situation. And hopefully you're not, but yeah, kind of appears that way. So again, cooperative efforts with that Three of Pentacles is kind of like a creative... Um, creative solutions. So maybe you are finding creative solutions so that you don't have to um, be uh, tricking somebody else or um, because the Seven of Swords is this this character here. You can see the people in the background are are busy while he kind of steals away to the camp or to their campsite and takes away five of uh, five swords that cannot be used against him, right? So he's the uh, enemy of these people, and while they're busy, he's busy doing things behind their back. That's why it's trickery and betrayal, but it's also open enemies. And like I said, this is something that you can be dealing with, or you could be that person. Um, but with the Three of Pentacles, you're being asked to um, use more cooperative efforts. Three is a very spiritual number. It's a special number. It's the Trinity. It's creativity. It's creation. But this is somebody who is um, just starting out. Uh, let's. It's like the apprentice uh, apprenticeship card, but it is cooperative efforts. So I think you would rather cooperate than uh, have to deal with people who are underhanded or. Um, an open enemy. So maybe you're taking very practical steps and the Queen of Pentacles might even be the person that is um, being tricky or betraying because she's the person who gets what she wants. But again, the placement is you in the position of um, you and what it is that you are uh, doing in this situation. All right, and with that, you have the King of Swords. King of Swords, for me, is a uh, is associated with Libra. There's fairness here. There's justice. This can be the military. This can be the law. It's just somebody with a very pragmatic mind. They want uh, facts and figures. They don't go for any nonsense or daydreaming or anything like that. It has to be clear view. It has to be understood, practical, and reliable. So this is somebody that you could be dealing with. Uh, perhaps this is the law. Maybe somebody has done something that was underhanded or tricky. And with the King of Swords, you might want to find a lawyer or take it to court. Or uh, this can be the military. It can also be the police. But it can also just be somebody with that kind of mindset. They're usually very... Um, uh, They have sharp features, so they could have a pointy nose or a pointy chin or sharp cheekbones. Um, their eyes can be a little bit sort of on the pointy side, just very piercing, I would say. This is the type of person who has a um, more um, square jaw, or if you look at their hands, you can find uh, squareness in their forehead, their hands, but also normally very square kind of uh, features. 
Yeah, so you may take matters into your hands. You may take them to court. There can be that kind of energy. Um, but it can also be the king of swords who has a very practical way of thinking, may have solutions to this problem, may be able to help um, and manipulate things in a good way, in a positive way, especially with the strength card. There can be some healing that comes with it, and there can be some people who put down their... Um, egos or put down the swords, right? The fighting, those fighting words, so that we can come to some sort of conclusion, some sort of peaceful conclusion. So there is big changes where this is concerned. Um, this can be confusion that you've had in regards to uh, in regards to the situation, right? And it just seems to me like this King of Swords can be a mediator even. So may even be a family, um, any kind of relationship here that we've known from the past would, uh, would be something that we're dealing with here. Okay, so what the Spirit wants you to know, you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is a really good card. Uh, it's self-fulfillment, it's luxury, um, there can be some, uh, this is a strong independent woman, which I would even say would be the Queen of Pentacles, who through her own hard work uh, creates a luxurious life for herself, or she could have inherited it, but in any case, uh, she lives pretty uh, independent. Um, so there is this kind of, I would say, a very independent streak here where this uh, reading is concerned, um, especially with the Aquarius card of the Queen of Pentacles, where uh, if it's negatively uh, aspected, this is dependency, dependency. So I kind of feel that here with these cards, actually, especially this one. Um, this young person may be dependent on this other person for help. Um, six is always about sharing, so there is that kind of dependency there. Um, and you may, there may be somebody who is dependent around you that um, um, is causing some sort of um, confusion or uh, how to proceed in a proper way. Um, but nine is always the culmination of something, so that really makes sense with the death card. But this is something new coming in. The thing is, though, that it feels to me like there's still something that is transitioning out as you are beginning this new sort of situation of being more uh, independent or self-reliant. Also, you may just want to beautify things around the home. Um, that can also, I don't know why that popped up, but it is sort of like, um, because I have the magician there, that's mastery and skill. And the nine of uh, pentacles is a card where the person um, aspected in the cards has an eye for beauty, has an eye for luxury, has an eye for craftsmanship. So it's very possible that you pick the right person. Let's say, um, let's say you're doing something in the home, right? Refurbishing, rebuilding, um, uh, redecorating, that sort of thing. And um, the Queen of Pentacles would absolutely have an eye for luxury, for uh, beautiful surroundings and um, um, really appreciating the mastery of an artisan, which would be the magician. So that can be happening for a lot of people too. Right? It doesn't have to be so uh, difficult or heavy. It can just be that um, there have been situations where we are preparing to change things around the home and making those decisions 
and not just trusting the contractors maybe or the people that uh, because contracts can come up also with the king of swords there's a lot of scenarios that could be going on here and maybe we've had difficulty in the past with uh, decorators or contractors or that sort of thing and we're looking to uh, because again this is a, a creative um, card and this is also something of, about the interior of of the home so yeah, it could just be something that light as well. Okay, and in any case, I think towards the end you will be very happy because you have the Nine of Pentacles, which is uh, self-fulfillment, but also beauty and uh, luxury. And um, it might be the King of Swords that does it for you because it comes with that Strength card, really solidifying something, um, and but pleasing to the ego, right? Pleasing to the... it, it matches the stateliness that you may feel that you are in with the magician card right and with the uh with the leo card of the strength card okay that's a few different scenarios um on either end and of course the spectrum in between i hope this has been helpful i've enjoyed doing it i do dailies i'll be back in two weeks with a full moon reading feels kind of light um as long as you are not doing anything to uh, hurt anybody then I just think it's kind of uh, maybe you're not trusting some people who are working on your home or uh, around the home. Okay, enjoy. Take care.